USS Constitution again. The oldest floating commission they will ship aboard. So this right here is our long gun. So there is a process to really running through this and keep in mind, they got to go through this in 90 seconds. So the process I'm about to show you took them 90 seconds to get done. So the first thing they got to do is they got to run this gun in. So um, what they got to do right here, so if you see this little pad eye kind of like down here, this little ring, basically had a rope, rope attached to it. These ladder walls um, that were right here and here, um, they were not here at the time. Uh, these were later added in 1927. Uh, to make it more visitor friendly during its second big restoration. So these weren't here, so just pretend right here, got a rope, throw it out, and they basically let all of those lines out because we're now about ready to run this gun in, inboard. So right over here, they have all their men line up, basically side to side, and then they had the cadence that we still use today called two, six, heave, right? So when it goes two, that's when your right hand goes six, back, and then left, and then heave, all the way back. Two, six, heave two, six, heave, and it's all the way back. It, um, we still run these gun drills today with similar manning requirements. Um, it takes us about five or six to get it out to where we need to work with it, right? And so after we do that, we got to take out what's called the tampion. Now the tampion is similar to another word that you might hear, but they serve completely different purposes. 
All right, so it's basically um, this little cap right here that's got the star on it. So as you're walking past the ship, you might have noticed that we had these little red caps on it. These are what we call the tampions. So it basically covers the gun, prevents any debris from getting in when we're not using it. Um, these tampions, when, they, when we go ahead and take them out, then the next thing we got to do is we got to sponge the gun. So sponging the gun. So I'm going to be wearing this right here. So sponging the gun. So on this side, this is the sponge, basically dip in a bucket of water, and then we go ahead and run it all the way through the gun. So right here, run it, and you know, and then basically we just make sure, um, make sure all that debris is out of there, make sure it's clean, ready to go. After we get that done, there's gonna, then we got to make sure that we throw our gunpowder bag in. Now the gunpowder bag, it was, uh, it was anywhere from like a six to a seven pound bag. Um, the gunpowder would be um, basically thrown in there kind of manually. We'd have all of our gunpowder storage in our aft and four magazines. Uh, boys, sailors, eight to 14 years old, uh, would basically take these bags, go into the gunpowder room, fill them up, and then bring them up here to the gun, gun team so that they can go ahead and throw them in. So basically throw those gunpowder bags, throw them all the way in, and then what they would do next is they'd throw what's called a wad. Now a wad is just basically like a I'm gonna see if I can find it around here. And, oh la, here it is. So, a wad is just basically a hemp rope, basically collected all together, tied all throughout. So what this does is it just dries out um, any of that water that's in there so that water doesn't get to that gunpowder. Because water mixed with gunpowder means that the gunpowder is not gonna go off the way that you want it to, and that explosion is not gonna get, get that ball to where it needs to go. So after we throw that wad in there, we throw a 24 pound shot, run it all the way through, and then we throw another one of these wads in here again. After we do all of that, we go ahead and ram it home. This ram, this little rammer right here, just basically this wood end right on, on the end of this rope, basically run that all the way through. After we get that done, we gotta prick and prime it. So there's this matchstick right here. Are we still in the 90 seconds? Oh, yep, still in the 90 seconds. <laughs> so, right over here, so this matchstick, if you see this little end right here, so this is this is the end part of the matchstick. So basically, after they after they rammed everything in and that gunpowder bag sitting nice and tight right here, they take this matchstick, put it in that hole, basically prick it, and that basically allow um, allow the basically the fuse to go ahead and act, have access to that gunpowder. Um, and so that's where we can go ahead and contain that explosion, and that explosion is going to push that ball out. Now, after we prick and prime it, what we got to do is we got to throw that apron on there. And, all right, cool. So basically, it's just this leather cover that goes right on top of the gun to make sure that we don't have any early detonations so that we don't have some guy standing behind here and then now he's yeeted out that way. <laughs> After we get done with that, um, we gotta basically run that gun back out. So basically, these lines that are right here where we got our block and tackles here on the side, all these do is they really just change the direction of, of, where, of where I'm pulling with that line and what it's gonna do to this. So because of the way that they're set up, that line would come out from right here, and then if I pull on that, it's gonna send the gun back out. And so they split up into two teams, make that happen. After they get done with that, now they gotta aim the gun. So this is the fun part. You all are gonna look at me like I'm Hulk Hogan here in about, in about three seconds. So, and actually what I'll do here, I'm gonna go ahead and just use it on this gun over here, just so I can get a better angle with it. So right here, uh, they would have what are called pointers. Be one person on each side. And in order to aim the gun, they basically have to lift this gun up. And if the gun captain wanted to change the angle on it, he basically pulled the coin back, basically back or forward to get the gun to kind of aim to where he wants the angle to go. So basically they would say, okay, point your gun. Oh Lord. So that right there, uh, that basically lifts it up and then the gun captain will go ahead and bring it back or forward to basically change the angle on that. And when he was done, he said, very well. Okay, let's go ahead and drop it. Here we go. After they get done with that, after you get done with that, they go ahead and say, stand by, put the matchstick, basically throw it in there. Uh, basically, they had tar basically covered on the end of the rope. It would kind of create that fuse. After that happened, uh, basically light that ignition. Okay, everybody's got to get away. Boom. All right, and there's your shot. So that's 90 seconds right there. 90 seconds of... Uh, 90 seconds of work to get one shot. Now, here's where we had the advantage. So the British, it took, but it took us once every 90 seconds. So we could fire twice as fast at them, 
We had more guns than them on, on the ships, despite us having smaller ships. Um, hoo ya Second Amendment. Hoo ya America. Let's go. Woo ya! And, uh, and, that was, and that was one of the reasons why we really carried that advantage um, into the eight, War of 1812. Yeah, in conclusion, on top of that, um, on top of that, there's ships. Thank you guys for taking the time to listen. Um, you guys have to get some time to listen. Um, you guys have to get some time to listen. Thank you.